Hey guys, Nate Techno here. Today I will be showing you how to uh, customize your KDE desktop or Kubuntu desktop. Desktop. Let's get started. So what you want to do is go to your system settings, and you might have noticed, but I already have customized mine up a, a tiny bit. So what you want to do is go to appearance and right here is the style of your windows and certain buttons and things like this so I have mine set to plastic because I like that one you guys can set yours to whatever there's CDE which is this one and there's clean looks GTK plus style Microsoft Windows 9 Motif, Oxygen, and Plastic. I choose Plastic, and if you guys, you know, this is how you fine tune it, make it look a little better, stuff like that. Show icons on buttons that I like to see the what it is. Um, yeah. Next up, we want to go to Colors. Apply what you have done, of course, and. These are the actual like colors of the window. See how like look. Uh, let me see. If I apply this, see how it changes the color. So you guys, I think actually have this color that I have right here, which is the default. To uh, you guys can get other ones such as honeycomb, Norway, obsidian, and more down here as you can see. Um, to get some more, you can hit new schemes, get new schemes, and I usually go by rating, and I like darker colors, so you can just type in your, uh, what you like, not W, and then there's this one, you like what you see, you just hit install, install it, and then when you get that, you just hit, where to go? I got the T-Sun, you just hit T-Sun, apply, and there you go. I like mine a blue with a dark, like this kind of. And you guys can fine tune it back here. You have the options of it. You have the colors. You can customize the colors yourself if you don't like what you see. You guys can, in activity, like windows and stuff like that. And disabled windows next we're going to be doing icons I have actually gone online and downloaded me a custom icon packet and but usually I think you guys come with this thing called genome yeah you guys come with genome it'll look like this and stuff like, and folders look like this you have missing things you want to change this you can go ahead and hit get new themes again hit rating if you want to go by rating you can go by most downloaded I go by rating and you can just you see something like you hit install and wait for it to get installed and close out you can go to that one apply after it updates the system configuration, you go home and see, everything looks different now. Everything. Now, just go back. I'm going to go back to my theme that I want, which is the flatter. I'll leave a link in the description for that one, if you guys want that. And next is fonts. I'm actually going to show you how you can get certain fonts so you guys can go online just type in this and type in like go to your uh, font website that you get fonts from font.com or something like that font.com fonts just find let's see um let's go browse Oh, 
I don't want to search. And you see, you can go here, find the font that you want. Blah, blah, blah. And you want to find the one that says download. Right, hit try. See what you like, you know. I'm trying to find the download button here. Let me see. Where is the download button? Desktop ebook, mobile app server. Um, I'm going to download this. Oh, okay. That's why I couldn't download it. I had to uh, buy it. But yeah, when you down download it, you um, get a file with a like FTT or a f I think kind of file. You just click it, it'll pop up with the font and ask you, it'll show you what it is, like what it looks like, and then it'll ask you if you want to add it to your personals. Hit personal, yes. And then you have it. And then you can go in here and customize which font you want to use. See, this is one of my customs I have. It's called capture it. Let me see. Let me make that bigger. See how it doesn't look like a normal font that would be on a computer? Yeah. So now that that's done, we can go to the next thing. There is this desktop effects that um you could just enable desktop effects like uh if you could see you see how like mine when I minimize oh, oh, oh. When I minimize things, it like zooms out and into the taskbar. Well, this this enables that. Uh, you guys can go to auto flex. You can have a zoom blur. Let's see. Let me find one that I could show you. Let's see. Uh, mouse mark scale in sheet. Some side. Let's see. Wobbly windows. Okay, see how when I move this, it's just a square. Well, I enable this, I'll hit apply. Now look. Ooh, it wobbles. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I won't say that. Um, yeah. I try not to put too many because I ha I am running this on a Chromebook, the Acer C720, and it doesn't have a lot of RAM, but it has enough. Um, next up is workspace. Uh, decorations. So, this is how the out outer of your window is going to look. Let's close this. If you click on this and hit apply, and this is like a older computer looking thing. And if you guys want to get a new one, you just hit get new decorations, hit rating, and find one that you like, you know, I don't like that one, oh wait, wrong button, hit rating, go to like uh, this, this looks good, it's a chrome, it installs, once it installs you can go to it, hit Hit it and hit apply. And now you can see I have a chrome looking panel here. I'm going to set it back to mine, which is a simplicity, simplicity red by Ben. Yeah, I barely know how to talk right now. Next up, we're going to be on to our cursor theme. This is how the I can't really point at it, but the cursor looks. So by default, your cursor will look like this, a little square. And then there are also two other, no, three other themes installed. There is the oxygen white, the oxygen black, no wait, no, never mind. The DMS black, and the KDE classic black. If you guys want to get more, you can hit new theme. Find the one that you like, you just hit install, pure glass, okay, where's that, where's that, what, what the, not here, let me see something else, let's get a different one, like uh, this, Th this will be good, install, new mix cursor, looks good, 
Where's it at? All right, this is being a tad glitchy. I'm gonna try this one more time. Install. Hit close. Nah, it doesn't wanna work. Okay, well, that might work for you. It just, it's not working for me right now. Next up, we are going to be doing our desktop theme. So this right here, I have customized, I use a few, but you guys usually start out with this, it's called air. It's like the clear thing, you guys have clear widgets, clear over here, and if you guys don't like that, then you can come in here and change it. So you can hit the new themes, and get a new theme from here, you get like uh, one of these, and then once you download it, it'll come in here. We'll use elegant, elegance for example. Hit that. And now you can see it changed my panel bar and my widget background. And I think it changed something over here, but I didn't see it. And also, you guys can customize it. <clears throat> so if you like one theme better than another, but you want something from another theme, you can come in here and customize. So, as you see, I have a, my own customized little thing here. You just hit, you just change things right here. Have the wave. Oh no, wait, cancel. Yeah. That's that. Next up is a splash screen. Um, th as you guys might have seen, but when I load it up, there was a splash screen. You probably didn't, but I'll probably cut it out. Um, yeah. So, you guys usually start with this. This is, if you could see it right now, I'm testing it, is the default thing, the start screen. Let's let it load. Me out. Let's go. Oh no! It went out. Okay. And if you want to get more, you just hit get new themes. And look through here, see what you like. Ooh. That looks good. I want that now. I'm just going to install this Plasma 5 splash screen. Download that. And now you see it here. I could just test this theme, which I'm not going to, well, yeah, I'll test it, I'll see what it looks like. So, ooh, got a sliding, little load screen, I don't know if you guys can see this right now, so, it's done, there we go, that's done, and there you go, that's your splash screen, guys, apply. Um, next up, you guys can come to the, what is it called, the display and monitor. Go to here. This is where, if you if you guys actually have, like, another monitor, you can, uh, you know, edit that, stuff like that. But, right here, we're going to be in screensaver today. So, you can have a blank screensaver with, like, one color on the back, and then a whole bunch of widgets. They're actually for uh, KDE4 I haven't found a way to find or get new screen savers so there really is only a blank screen right now but you guys can customize it to have it start after one minute or your desired amount of time I, I keep it to one minute because that's how I am you guys can you guys can set up the color you want it in here I keep it at this color. Okay. And you can set it so like if you're watching a YouTube video and it goes to the the screensaver and you got to type your password every time, you can actually set it so after 60 seconds in the screensaver it will require a password and or your desired amount of seconds. 
and keep mine at 60. Um, as you can see here, allow widgets on screensaver. I would click this, but you can't see what what happened, so there's no point. Apply, and there we go. I don't have any. I don't have a second monitor, so, but I am working on getting that. Well, I th that's it, guys, for this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you uh, this is the first video you've seen on my channel, just make make sure to subscribe. Peace out.